Hello everyone and welcome to Lucky Loaders 15 where I'll be giving you my each way selections for tomorrow's horse race in action where we're going to be focusing at the meeting in South Africa which is at Turf Fontaine and I'll be giving you my four picks uh, for the card there tomorrow but just a couple of things to run by you first uh, the first one is I've had my hair cut so uh, I'm looking good now and the second one I'll just do a quick re review on how today's selections ran it was a bit of a mixed bag to be honest with you we had two place legs uh, which both came at Happy Valley in the form of uh, Victoria Seeker. That finished third in the hands of uh, Jao Moreira. And the other one, which was ridden by Karis Teton, Surrealism, just got a home with the extra place, finishing in fourth if you managed to find the extra place. There were a few bookmakers offering that. Uh, so um, that was the only other one of note that ran well. Our selections in uh, Greyville, South Africa, were quite disappointing. And the less said about them, the better. Anyway, we'll get straight into uh, the tips tomorrow. And like I said, they're all coming from Turf Fontaine. Um, which is on the turf as it's in the name uh, but the track at Greyville today you might have seen was um, on poly track so you'd get um, you kind of all weather surfaces over there if you're not too familiar with uh, South African racing but it's on the turf tomorrow and in our first uh, tip tomorrow we go to the 12 term of a horse called Crank It Up Round about 11 to 8 shot with bookmakers at the moment trained by a trainer you'll have to uh, f forgive the pronunciation it's John Jantz Van Ver Irwin, I think that's how he pronounces his uh, surname. And the jockey booking is Gavin Lorena. And if you're not too familiar with South African racing, Gavin Lorena is one of the top riders over there. So it's always um, worth looking at his rides. Now, this horse has got one of the most um, levels of experience in the field. It's been running quite a few times and it ran an OK race last time out, despite having a poor draw. And that also as well was its first run after becoming a gelding. And it can normally take a horse a run to get over that operation. So he ran with credit, to be fair to him. And with a good draw on stall three tomorrow, he's come close on a couple of occasions. He's an 11 to 8 shot. I know it's not the biggest price you're ever going to back a horse at, but I thought he had a really good chance of uh, breaking his duck tomorrow in that maiden race. So that's going to be the second, uh, the first selection there. We then go into the second selection, which comes in the 120. And I'm going with a horse here called Finn Chatton. Now, this horse is currently around about six to one shot. And again, Gavin Marino is riding tomorrow for a trainer called uh, Gorka Terzi. Now, um, this horse uh, finished second last time out to a horse called uh, Nordic Rebel and ran not too badly to be honest with you over a slightly shorter trip that was over a mile that day and the winner um, of that race Nordic Rebel was ridden by Gavin Arena and it's interesting that he's coming on this horse tomorrow he must have been impressed um, by uh, the effort of this horse last time out when it flew home um, and probably would have uh, nicked the race to be honest with you if you can go and watch the race replay in the if there was another couple of yards he was flying home so stepping back up and trip to a mile and two will help he won on his penultimate start over the trip and this nine-year-old even though he might be a bit exposed compared to some of these other horses tomorrow that have been competing in lower graded races and listed company in south africa i just thought he had a really good chance of going close tomorrow and was worth taking a chance at price we then go to the 235 and i thought bridge of uh, spies could go well around about an eight to one shot sky bet paddy power and better are paying the extra place of four places so if you can get on with there i would definitely recommend it and uh, this horse is uh, trained by a horse uh, horse trainer called clinton bordeaux and craig bantam is the jockey booking tomorrow now this horse um is going to be um dropping in, in in class and also as well as dropping down the weights and if you actually look at his last run he was a little bit unlucky. He got slightly hampered in running. And then when he did get going, uh, he was coming home late. And he wasn't too far beaten, despite being finishing in seventh place. I just thought tomorrow, with a good draw from stall two, he could definitely pop up at a price, dropping down in grade. And I, I would like to keep on his side. And he still might have a bit more to offer um, going down in grade. So for me, at 8-1, I think he's a fair each-way price there. We then go to the 340 with a horse called Bassam. Ran about a three to one shot. Trained uh, by Mike de Kock, who's one of the most famous South African trainers. And this horse is going to be ridden tomorrow by uh, Callan Murray. Now, this horse uh, finished second uh, in a maiden last time out and is actually going to be making his handicap debut today. 
and if you go through some of his form he actually looks quite well in at the weights Mike DeCock is a good trainer that can improve horses he can do well first time and also as well he can do well and improve as well he's a very versatile trainer does well with very um, different types of horses and I just think tomorrow Bassam has got a good chance of making the frame again the extra places are on offer with Sky Bet, Betfair and Paddy Pad and I just thought this horse tomorrow could uh, win on his handicap debut so they're the four each way lucky 15 picks for tomorrow's horse race in action on Friday hopefully we will be picking uh, tips from Dundalk where we're a bit more in calmer waters uh, Ireland got the green light to continue racing today so uh, fingers crossed uh, the racing can continue over there and there should be a lot more Irish meetings coming up as well I know there'll be some over the weekend and going into next week so uh, when there is an Irish racing we'll be focusing on cards such as like South Africa Happy Valley America we'll be going anywhere in the world just to give you guys tips and also as well to enjoy a bit of different racing as well from different parts of the world so that's all i got to say on that front. If you haven't done so already, please um, subscribe here to my YouTube channel. And you can also follow me on Twitter as well using my handle at LuckyLoaders15. Please gamble responsibly and we'll be seeing you soon.